These crystals are from the Umbral Plane. I think they could use a little local flavor from Radiant Shards. Huh? What do you mean? Ah, local shards. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Abigail. This is it. The Grand Palace of Sun's Cradle. I can see Umbra has been busy. I dread the thought of what the city itself might look like. <sighs> And I haven't felt apprehension. But perhaps even unsettled, the universe finds <laughs> It takes one traveler from a different world to count on another. I wanted to be cool, but it didn't work, of course. Well, what do you have for me? Bow down, wizards. We'll show you a bow. Where is she? Missile? Ah, oh, there. What? Uh oh. This isn't your world anymore. Abigail. <laughs> I am Umbra. I will have all. This cannot work. Damn it. So there's plenty more where that came from. Or are you surrendering? I cannot yet. You Can cannot you burn, burn down all the is nothing but an intrusion. It was never meant to be a part of Meliora. Stop! And it is mine. <laughs> the dialogue does not comprehend. But darkness can be absolute. Shit! Don't look at me. Ah, uh, one more. Oh, I missed one. Damn. Damn it. Holy hell. <laughs> Uh, where is the shard? Oh, okay. Ready to give up yet? Come on. <laughs> Fight is 
not over. Oh, it's always these with these world ending megalomania. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I see you. Can I just hit it with my hand? Yeah, okay. <laughs> No, okay, there's one that I missed. Cut them. Oh, here, on top. Don't you understand? It was always Meliora and Umbra. Ever separate, one never touching its opposite. But now Umbra spreads through Meliora. Even the radiance you carry seals this new order. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what is this? What it say? But I pray. What? Oh my god, what the hell? I barely noticed what happened. Like, the storytelling is so slow that I don't know if I'm playing too fast or something. Like, well, even the credits stopped. What the hell? I think I need to restart the game or something. Or restart the checkpoint, I guess? Uh, the checkpoint is literally the credits. Oh my god. And I'm selecting, I think, something, but... What? There were no buttons, no nothing. Wait, so the portal is destroyed. This is the guild, so literally what is going on? I'm trying to see if something is like new here, but like I don't really see anything that I can do here. Do I have spells? Yeah. I have all the spells, so I like completed the game, but I can't I think go back to the surface. What is this then? This is the rainforest. Oh, so this is like a map actually. Yes, okay. Last stage here. Was this. Okay. I have no idea if there was like a decision to kill her or whatever. Like everything happened so fast that I'm not even sure if it's like a proper ending or whatever. I'll make some research and if actually that was it, I'll say you in the video or whatever. But you know, if I compare the first game to this, then it definitely is an upgrade in terms of just the mechanics, gameplay, and just fluidity of it. I do like way better here the world design and how you progress because in the first game, it was basically like you had stages and you chose from that. It felt like arcade like you're not really 
playing the game or rather just choosing the levels where you end up and that's it. Like I feel like the story in the first game was better than this here and I'm not sure if it's because of the pacing or it was just like kind of in the background but I really did not pay attention to the story as much as I did with the first game so like gameplay is better here but like storyline is better there which is kind of weird to be honest. It's very fun actually like spell casting is very good in terms of just fluidity and just like casting various spells and combinations like destroy opponents like you have a variety of play styles here but yeah you know I did not try at this time a quest port yet but I'm really curious how it's gonna translate to the standalone because I remember the first game was pure potato graphics like it was really bad and as well like looking at the spells and just like the effects of it it's like very high quality in texture so I'm not sure how they're gonna do it I guess I would know at this point like uploading this video but I enjoyed myself nevertheless I wasn't looking for the storyline at all because I knew it's not gonna be the focus of the game it's basically a virtual game to just discover the areas and just spellcasting your way through the world but that's it the game has quite a few bugs like not in your face that's something like really game breaking but like annoying and locomotion is not like as fluid as it should be as well with the climbing and just like movement in general it's not a top tier game by any means, but it does its job. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it with this.